how to use the inventory sheets. The inventory sheets are the core of ChefSheet. This is where you add and manage your inventory items that you can then count using ChefSheet Mobile. To access the inventory sheets, click Inventory Sheets from the main menu. To begin, first create a new sheet. For example, a bar inventory or daily seafood order. A few things to note about inventory sheet and how they work with ChefSheet. If you are like many who work in food service, you may use a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel to create forms for counting and ordering inventory. The ChefSheet inventory sheets, however, can do a lot more than a simple spreadsheet can. For example, you can create inventory sheets to use for different things, such as daily ordering, end of month, weekly ordering, or you can combine ordering and counting into one sheet. The Copy for Next Count button will make a copy of any sheet with all of the items, prices, and everything you need for the next count. The only things that are not copied for the next count are the amounts you counted or the amounts you have entered to order. Orders and counts are erased with the Copy for Next Count, and the new sheet is ready to use. The old sheet will remain with all of your counts until you choose to delete it. A tour of this page. Here is a list of all of your non-archived inventory sheets. ChefSheet structure is designed to work with how you currently manage your inventory process to create and use as many different types of sheets as you need. Use new inventory sheets to create a new sheet as we just saw. Sync prices across all open inventories. All of the inventories that you see here can contain some or all of the same items. If an item is present in multiple sheets, that item can have different prices in each sheet. Say you have limes in your bar inventory sheet and your kitchen inventory sheet. The chef updates prices and changes the lime price from $30 per case to $33 per case. To avoid needing to update the price of limes in both the bar and the kitchen inventory sheet, you can press this button. ChefSheet will find the newest price for every item in all non-archived inventory sheets and then change the price of all the same items on the other sheets to this newest price you entered. If you have counted inventory for the end of July, create a new sheet for August, update prices, and then sync prices, July's inventory totals will change with that update, which you may not want. To prevent this from happening, you can archive July before syncing your prices. To switch between the regular view and the archive view of inventory sheets, click here. This is the inventory sheet name, and this is the date it was created. Status of the sheet will be displayed on the list of sheets on ChefSheet Mobile. You may want to present limited options to those counting inventory with a mobile app. To do this, use status to make it clear which sheets are meant to be used. Archive will lock and store the sheets as we discussed earlier. Send to vendors. If you are using the inventory sheet for ordering, you can use send to vendors to send the orders from that sheet to any vendor in the world. To learn to use this feature of ChefSheet, see the tutorial Send Orders to Vendors with Response. The order report will show the amounts you wish to order from each vendor, sorted by vendor, so you can view the report and call your vendors and place your orders. Category Detail Report will show each item in your inventory and how much of this item you have counted, as well as the item price and the total value with items grouped by category. The Category Sums Report is a summary of the detail report. All the same information, but only showing the category totals. The Purchases Report will show you the purchases you entered into this inventory sheet. To learn to use this, see Entering Purchase Tracking Consumption Tutorial. Track Purchases. This is where you can enter your invoices and purchase amounts and import purchases you have sent to vendor if you are choosing to enter purchases into ChefSheet. For more information, see the Entering Purchases tutorial. Import Inventory Items. From here, you can import items you wish to count from spreadsheets and various computer programs. To see more, view the tutorial Importing Your Inventory. Copy for Next Count. As discussed before, this will make an exact copy of your inventory sheet, but remove the quantities and order amounts from previous uses. This clipboard image will print a copy of your inventory sheet with blank spaces to count room by room. This is generally for users not using ChefSheet Mobile for counting. The pen can be clicked to change the inventory sheet name. The X is used to delete the inventory sheet. Click the inventory sheet you wish to work with. 
across the very top of the sheet view, notice the Import Inventory Items button here as well. Press Download Inventory Sheet as CSV to download everything you see as CSV. You can use this to then import this sheet for a second restaurant location or to make changes offline. To add items to your sheet, you can either import the items or add items one at a time. If you have the items on any sort of computer format, importing is going to be faster. If you are starting from pen and paper or from scratch, you can use this yellow button to add items. To do this, first click the button. Here you will see where you enter your item name, product ID, which is optional, your unit, or the size of the item, and now you can enter a quantity if you want, or count later. Enter a price and the date the price was captured. Choose a room or rooms where this item will be kept and counted. A note on rooms. The rooms you create for your restaurant will be shown in all inventory sheets. The rooms are a counting aid. You can add any item to any one room or to as many rooms as you like. As you count your items, the items in different rooms will be added together. For example, if you keep salmon in the walk-in and on the line, but all you need to know is how much salmon you have in total. Using the mobile app, you can count the salmon in the walk-in and again at the line. The two amounts are then added together to calculate the amount of salmon in total. Count the item wherever you may see it and ChefSheet will do the math. Here you select a vendor and here a category which is sometimes called a GL code or GL category. Your reports will generally be totaled by categories such as seafood, meat, wine, and liquor. Under vendors you will first see vendors you created. Then you will see vendors created by other users within 250 miles of your location. Under Categories, you will first see Categories you created, and then Default Categories provided by ChefSheet. To add your item, click Save. To add multiple items, press the plus button to add another form, and again for another, and so on. Enter all of your items before pressing Save. Across the top, you will see tabs to create new rooms, categories, and vendors to use with your items. Now we can see all of the rooms across the top of the items list. When you first enter an inventory sheet, you will see the All Room view. This is a list of all items in every room seen at one time. From here, you can update prices and enter counts. Notice the room where the item is kept is displayed by its initials here. The All view groups the same item in different rooms together. Within an inventory sheet, any one item can only have one price. What this means is that changing the price of the item in one room will change the price of the same item in other rooms as well. Items that were uploaded or added with no room name will be added to the no room. The no room works like any other room, except the no room cannot be deleted and will contain items not added to a specific room. Rooms are how your items are displayed on ChefSheet Mobile for counting. The rooms can be ordered by hand by dragging items into place, or you can use the auto sorts to alphabetize items, group by category, and more. Note that once you have set a sort order, it cannot be undone. You can resort, but if you sorted by hand and want to display alphabetically, your hand sort will be removed. To move things between rooms, copy items to another room, or delete multiple items from a room, click Show Bulk Tools. There are three tasks, Move, Copy, and Delete, which all work in much the same way. Select the items you want to move, copy, or delete. Choose which tool you want. Move will take items from one room and move them to another, meaning the items will be in just one room after the move. Copy will copy items from one room to another, so the items will be in two rooms after the copy. Delete will remove items from a room so the items will be in zero rooms after delete. To copy or move to multiple rooms, repeat the steps for the next room. You can also add a new room from the bulk tools by selecting Add a new room. Any item when found in the All Room view or a Single Room view can be edited by clicking Edit. From here, you can add or edit a product ID, change the unit, change the room, change the category, or add the item to another vendor. To change vendors, add the item to another vendor, and then delete the previous item from the older vendor. To delete an item, click Delete Item. Without pressing Edit, you can add or change an item price, 
enter account for an item, and edit par, minimum order, and order amounts. Changing the item price does a lot. ChefSheet will record this price as your latest price, which is captured in your recipes and your price change over time reports. For more information about recipes, see the Creating Recipes tutorial. If you are using the inventory sheet for ordering, consider using PARs. The PAR is the minimum amount of each item which should be ordered. When PARs are set, you can enter your counts, and if the item is below PAR, the order amount will be set automatically. If you set a minimum order, when any amount must be ordered, it will always be the minimum order. To learn more about PARs and minimum orders, see How to Use ChefSheet for Daily Ordering tutorial. All of the PAR and minimum order features work from ChefSheet Mobile, and PARs and minimum orders are copied for the next count with the Copy for Next Count button. Show alternate units. You may buy an item, like a case of wine, by the case, but when it comes time to count, you just have bottles remaining. You can use the alternate units to count those as bottles. When you set the alternate unit name and price, ChefSheet will remember the relationship between the various unit prices. The prices are used to calculate how many bottles to a case you have. Alternate units are an OR and not an AND, meaning you can count by either unit, but they are not added together. Each unit value is a different expression of the same amount. The inventory units can be accessed and counted from ChefSheet Mobile. Recipe units are used in recipes and can be set from the inventory sheet view or when building a recipe. If you buy ground beef by the pound and use it in recipes by the ounce, you can set or see the relationships between those prices here and see them update as price changes. Click any vendor name here to set vendor contact information for your own restaurant, to post a review of your vendor for others to see, and to see lists of products from this vendor. Click the Compare Prices button for a quick look at the price changes of this item over time and some suggestions of similar items with vendors and prices. Inventory sheets do a lot and this tutorial has covered a great deal of information. Please contact support for screen-to-screen -screen training if you have any other questions. And thank you for using ShipShip.